What is going on guys, it's CG here, and welcome to the centre. So Pooptopia has moved over to series 2, the old map has been deleted, it's gone, and we're all starting over here on the centre, brand new map, and it has recently been updated too, which is a brilliant, we've got the Redwoods Forest, and a lot more stuff in the game. Last time I played this, there wasn't much stuff at all, but now there's a lot more, and we're all doing a brand new series on it and we've got lots of stuff to do, it's going to be amazing. And for this episode today, I've already found what I'm going to do and that is tame this Ankylo. So first off I'm going to show you a little bit about the area where I've chosen to live. This is a really good area, pretty much because it has every single resource I'll ever need. I've got a little starter hut over here, which is definitely not going to stay because it's the ugliest thing I've ever built. It hasn't even got a roof. It's not even finished. Uh, but yeah, you can see that it's got metal, crystal, a lot of metal and crystal actually. So much going on all the way over here, covered in trees. And it's in a very nice, big open, sort of flat area, which is going to be very good for what I'm intending on building. But we'll all see that in a future episode not going to give too much info away. And there's the little Ankylo over there that I need to get. Female Ankylo level 145. So this girl over here has been there for about three or four days now. Not too sure. And she hasn't died and she hasn't disappeared. So I'm very lucky to start her there. I have spent the last hour or so quickly making some tranks. It's very hard when you're just picking berries on the ground gets a bit boring but I've also got a slingshot just in case I run out so I need to get her attention and if I stand on this rock I can get her, there's also a Fiomia over there so I'm gonna quickly shoot her shoot her! Oh, I've got a lovely little hit marker right so is she coming? there she is slowly trundling along Taking her time. Keep shooting her from here. Lovely. Nice headshot there. Oh, and another one. Another one goes, and another one goes, and another one bites the dust. Dun, dun. Yeah! She can't do anything now. She is stuck here. Oh no, I hit the rock. Oh! Oh my god, she actually hit me took down half of my health in one hit. That is not good at all. I don't even have a bed up here in my base, so if I die, I have to do a lot of running. I'm going to lose some of my stuff as well if I don't get back in time. Oh dear. Oh no, the hitbox on this rock's too big, so I can't really hit it. Oh, I'm surprised she actually managed to hit me. I did look on the wiki, it says it takes about 100 and... no, 45 arrows, not 145. That would be insane. So I made 50, just in case I miss a few, which I have done already. Uh, I keep jumping and shooting her, otherwise I'm going to hit the rock. Do not go too close to the edge, she will hit you. Yeah, so what else is good about living near this area? Um, there's two big lakes, one roughly down that area where I'm pointing now and one over there. And they are absolutely covered in beaver dams. So this is like the best place to live. I've got all these trees, loads of rocks, loads of metal, loads of crystal and I pretty much have unlimited cementing paste. So I won't have to actually make any, I can just steal it from the beaver dams. And this game is running away, hoping she'll turn around because there was some... Um, Arthropleuras over here that would probably kill her. Don't even know why they're over here. It's literally in the middle of the jungle. Stop running away. I can't have you going too far. Oh yes, we got it down. That is brilliant. So we need to gather some food for this girl. Ah, oh, I took a lot less arrows than I thought it did. So I've got some medjus back at base in my little hut, it's not really much of a base, but um, I didn't get time to make any narcotics, so it looks like I'm definitely going to be picking these 
bushes for quite some time. But I can always do other things while she's taming up. She's not going to need too much supervision. She's just lying on the floor. I'll just keep checking on her every five minutes or so. Just get some berries in this amazing deep storage box. Look, take a look at this. Could store five thousand weight. So it basically is unlimited until it goes up to five thousand. Meadows. Meadows will also take some of the blue. We have blueberries. What else do we need? Narcotics. Narco berries. I never like picking these plants. It takes ages. I often find myself just running around in circles, picking plants for hours on end. I would have set up a narco berry farm, but I can't get water up here at the moment. And uh, they take a while to grow, so I wouldn't have been able to do it in time. But this Ankylo is definitely going to help, especially with the Mel. I mined one of the big gold rocks, and because the serves on times 4, I got like 200, I think, from it, or maybe a little bit more. But these Ankylos are going to get so much. Probably get encumbered after destroying one rock. Just got to keep picking plants for a very long time. I definitely need to find some sort of mount to collect berries. I was thinking about getting a parasol, but I'm not sure if they do collect berries. Or if they do, so I'm not too sure, um, they do collect a very small amount. I know the turtle is quite good, but I really want a stego. They're quite, kind of hard to find around where I live. This little rocky part. Let's load you up with medjos, or should we starve you out for a bit? I'm not too sure. Feed you some more narco berries anyway, and I am dehydrated, so I'm gonna need to eat some of these. I think I'll eat a hundred of them. There we go. Lovely. So this Ankylo is gonna take quite some time to tame up. I'm gonna feed her a few more of these actually. I really wish I had some narcotics, but didn't have time to do it. I can't waste too much time getting it, because got other things to do. So I've been thinking about this area. It's these massive pillars here. I want to actually build on top of them. There is some sort of bridge type network made with uh, rock over here. And we have a mod on the server uh, called Structures Plus. It is pretty much the same as the vanilla structures. However, you can just kind of collide them with rocks and stuff without it leaving stupid gaps. Just makes building a lot easier and makes everything look a lot nicer. But as you can see, this is a bridge here. I was thinking if I had some sort of towers up there, maybe, maybe on there as well. I'm thinking like I, I'm not too sure what to do with this base yet. I was going to have behemoth gate walls all around the outside, but then there's not really much point in doing that. I'm not too sure what the servers on. I did hear Courtney Chan mention something about raiding. I think it's like online raiding, fun raiding, so it's kind of like a planned thing. No offline raiding and nothing boring that'll make the uh, people get upset with what happens. So if it is planned raiding, then I have got a lot of stuff to do for this base. If it's not, then I'm basically just going to be living uh, as a PvE person. So I'll put houses around and stuff like that. I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check on the server status if it's going to be PvP or not. Crystals get out of my way. Hmm. I also need to do a bit of leveling up. So what I do to level up, especially in these early stages, just literally cut down as many trees as I can, get encumbered with wood, and then I make wooden platforms. I think I can make some now. And they get quite a lot of XP. If I can find it, wood. There it is, wooden foundations. Need a lot more thatch though. So I can slowly waddle to this tree. Go! Run! You can do it! You can do it! Yeah! Okay, so we've got a lot more thatch. How many of these can make two, and the XP should go up by quite a bit. Eh, it's 
it's not as much as what it was. But when I like when I level ten or something, it goes up a lot more. Obviously, as you go higher level, you need a lot more XP. I know rafts are really good to craft. Um, on the old Pooptopia server, for those of you who watched Series 1, I didn't do much episodes in Series 1, and there's a reason why. When I joined the server, there was only about a month before it got wiped after joining. So I put about two or three weeks into building, didn't get very far with that, and then about two or three weeks after that, they said they were wiping their map. The map has been wiped now, it's no longer in use, so we're all mo moved on to this one, and this, uh, uh, this series is going to be up for uh, quite a lot of time. They've nerfed the uh, XP rates, so it's going to be a lot more fun to grind out levels and build and everything. You've actually got something to look forward to now, which is good. Because on the other server, if you crafted like a raft, I would say I was like level 10 or 15, you unlock the raft. I crafted a raft, I got up by about three or four levels. It was on times six, I think. But now it's on times two, so it's a lot more steady, which I really do like. Makes the game a lot more enjoyable, and I don't get bored as quick. Like if it was on level uh, times six, now I'd probably be about level fifty, or maybe a little bit higher. I don't know. Depends really. I'm level twenty-seven, so that is not too bad at all. And I think I'm going to throw some measures in the skill. See if she eats them up. See how long she's going to take to tame. Hmm. I really wish I had kibble. I could do a perfect tame. She would be amazing. Level 145. I was pretty lucky to find her. Right, I was signed for her. I was building. In the right. Yes. So the new Allosaurus is in the game as well. Um, I also want to try fishing. Fishing I've heard is quite good. I've watched some videos on it and I think you get blueprints from fishing. Which is really good. So I'm going to do some fishing once I get bait. I need to go to the Redwood Forest and put a tree tap on it. Unless you can put it on these trees, I'm not too sure. If anybody knows, don't afraid to leave a comment. That'll help me a lot. Yeah, so the Allosaurus, I have a video planned. Well, I was going to do like a showcase of the Allosaurus when it came out on the update. But I, I wasn't even home when the update came out, so I couldn't do that, which was kind of annoying. I, I love doing my update videos. If you haven't noticed, pretty much all my most successful videos are the update videos. I put a lot of time into them. Say the video is about 10, 15 minutes, I'll literally put about 4 or 5 hours into making one of them. So they do take a lot of time. As well as the Series 2 channel, uh, not channel trailer, the Pooptopia Series 2 trailer, the official one I made. That was about 5 minutes long, it took me about 2 hours to make. I do put a lot of time into these things. They may not look like they take a lot of time, but they actually do, you'd be surprised. So with the Allosaurus, I was thinking about doing a showcase on it, but I'm not too sure. I really do like the Allosaurus, even though I haven't tamed one yet. Uh, it is... I'd say it's almost one of my favourite dinos. I kind of class it as a crossbreed between the Kano and the Rex. It's bigger than a Kano, but smaller than a Rex, so it's kind of in the middle. I might do some sort of battle thing of it, like a hundred Kanos versus a hundred Allos. I might do like some cinematic battle, like that I did with the trailer. That type of cinematic stuff. I'm gonna try and play around with the spectator mode and see if I can make a lot better quality videos with it. I really do like making those cinematic stuff, compared to the gameplay anyway. Gameplay is good, but I want to have like shake it up a bit on the channel. I don't want constant, you know, episode 1, episode 2, episode 3. That might come a bit boring. I was thinking about getting No Man's Sky as well, but I have waited, seen quite a few of the reviews. There's a lot of negatives, but then there's more positives, and I am just really debating at the moment whether or not I should get the game. Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you a bit of what I was on about with the lake. Um, this thing is covered in beaver dams, so as you can see you got one, two, there's two over there, three, one there, four, and I don't know if there's any in the water or not. No, there's not any in the water. But there's four around here, and there is a massive cave entrance right here, which is awesome, with another three beaver dams. 
So there's seven beaver dams in total, and that is a lot of cement and paste. I stole from one of these earlier. I think it was this one. I don't want to open it again, because they'll come after me. But there is just wood in there, and I want to kind of destroy it, so it will respawn. I'm just going to have to empty a bit of my inventory out, because I'm going to do a little bit of stealing. So one of this. i just kind of drop that out. I'll quickly do it with this one as well. Now there's going to be beavers after me, I think. I did kill two of them. I'm not sure if the two that made it are dead. We'll soon see. Any beavers? Beavers, 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 beavers. No, I'm safe. Okay, I'm going to get this last one here then. Might as well make the most of this and just steal as much as I can. Mushrooms, cement and paste, flowers, cement and paste. Get rid of that rubbish. We don't want wood. We got wood everywhere. What's in this cave? A lot of stuff. I'm going to have to do an episode of exploring that cave. I think I'm going to wait till I get a, a better mount. I think I want to get a wolf or something to go in there with. I'm not going to go in there by foot. Because the caves on this game are a lot harder on this map. Much bigger. That means there's a lot more spawns in them. It becomes a lot harder. And as well as the di dinos being level 150 as well. And oh my god, I just ran past a scorpion. I remember what happened last time I came across one of these. It was not pretty. And I'm actually leading it straight towards my tame. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's uh, avenging the damn stealing for the beavers. No, run! Why can't I run? Oh god, I'm scared so much then. Leave me alone, please. Come on, run. Please leave me alone. Oh, got him. Oh no, the beavers here as well. They're all coming. I didn't realize they were all following me. Leave me alone. I wanna get on a rock. Okay, I'm safe now. That's right. You run away. No, don't come back. Oh dear. Stay away from me! I stole, I know. It was not good, but I had to do it. Stealing is the only way forward. Just kill this guy. Make sure there's no more of them around. In the centre, the centre island, there's like a massive lake as well. I think it's over there in the mountains. But there's a lot of beaver dams there. I want to explore the whole map really. Especially after the new update came out, I want to build stuff in the redwoods biome. I'm going to have to wait for that. Get out of the way, pig. That's right, run away. You can't defeat me. those long range hits. Oh yeah. Good sniping skills there. Destroyed this little guy. What were you? I don't know if it was male or female. It's dead. That's all that matters. Loads of pelt. I didn't realise they changed it so you could get pelt from beavers. That's very handy because it used to just be wolves and mammoths and it literally meant going in the snow biome get it and it was a really low chance of getting that much from each one as well but now they put it on pretty much anything with food which is a lot better because I do not want to go into the snow biome just to get out uh, what have we got cook up some meat when we get back to our little piece over here Where the metal is smelting oh it already has oh, lovely Oh, we've got quite a lot of ingots. What have we got? We have 127. That is fantastico. We are going to cook up some of this stuff, actually. Wait, do I have any... I don't know, any wood on me. So we have to steal some out here. Cook up some meat. There we go. 
there we go. Um, let's throw everything else in here. In this super duper amazing chest. Uh, what did I want? I do want something out of here though. All the arrows are on. There we go. Oh, wait, are we level 30? Or was that just 30? Oh, it's just 30 points. So we're level 30 then. I really want this chitin armor. I don't know, need to be level 30 and 35, oh damn it, what was that? Legs, chest, helmet, arms, feet. Gloves, feet, they've added something else, chitin something. I didn't even know what that is. Or am I just being incredibly stupid? Legs, torso, helmet, feet, feet and arms. Yeah, they've added something else, I don't know what it is. That is cool. Either it was added in one of the mods that we have on the server, or that's a new item in the game. And if that is a new item, I did not know. I didn't realise that that had came out. And that's also new. I think there's a lot of stuff in here from the mod. So a lot of the stuff doesn't actually... Isn't actually in vanilla. So I'm going to get some gunpowder anyway. Flare guns. I love flare guns. Yeah, we want a rifle, if I can find it. Level 35 for all the good stuff. we got a lot of leveling up to do, and I'm probably going to all do that off camera, and I'll be back once this Ankylo's tamed up. See you all, peeps. Ah, it's raining! It's raining! <gasps> My god. The storm. It's on its way. we got to get inside. We gotta get inside! Where is it? It's getting closer. It's just following me. It's following me. Pick some berries along the way. I can hear it. The rain. Thunder. Okay, thunder. Lightning. Thunder and lightning. I don't like it! We gotta get inside! Oh no! We don't have a roof! There's no roof! Die, pig! Die! You will not defeat me! You are stuck! My god, it's gonna die! I'm hitting it with a club, it's so weak! Oh! Alright, so this girl is almost tamed up. After about an hour and a half, I think it is, she has taken absolutely ages and an absolute nightmare of narco berries. I even had to go and make a whole bunch of narcotics and she's eaten through them all. Even the tall pool bar is halfway down, so she's gone through 2,000 already. And she just needs to eat one more time and then she should be tamed. Wild female and Kylo. I don't know what to name her, so that's going to take a few episodes to think of. Um, good name, good name, I do not know. It's going to be very good when we have it though. Uh, a lot more metal, a lot more flint, I need a lot of flint. Some more crystal, it's going to be great. Just need to wait for it to tame up. Also, whilst I've been gone for an hour and a half, I've managed to get myself to level 130. 135, what am I on about? <laughs> 35, I've got some chitin armor, I need to make the rest of the pieces. <gasps> oh, she's done, she's done. Name, 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 what should we call her? Hmm, I'm not even gonna name it yet, I'm gonna wait to name it. But first, is there anything else I wanna research? No, guns and armor, that's it. Let's take a look at her stats. Stock. Level 207, this wasn't a perfect team, but it could have been if I was more experienced, well, if I had more time and I was on about episode 10, then I'd be able to do this. I don't have any eggs, don't have any of the stuff like that, so we had to do this stock. She has 3,500 health, uh, stamina 665, oxygen, we don't care about it, she's not swimming, melee damage is 263. And weight 430. Melee damage I need to get to about a thousand, so she can one shot rocks. 
and get the maximum yield from them as well. But this girl is a really nice colour, nice orangey tanned colour, it's really nice. New addition to the series. Come on, you can do it. No, 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 no. Don't you dare go around, you will fall off. Oh dear. I don't know if I can trust you to go over this. Maybe we'll go around. I am not uh, taking any risks. Okay, she wants to get over. That's good. She's gonna uh, walk you back to the base now. Come on. Come on, little one. And Kylo, level 207. I'm trying to think of a name for her. Like, if any of you think of a good name for her, female and Kylo, uh, do leave it down in the comments and I might use it. I haven't thought of a name yet. And Kylo. I had one called Unkylo Ren. That was just to, you know, to take the mick out of the Star Wars character, the person on there. Anyway, she's back at base. I also tamed up this film here. So we got one for poo now. We need a lot of poo. I know what I'm going to name this one as well. Uh. There we go. Pooptopia's number one pooper. Uh, 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 this guy is only a low level. We don't need a high level one of these. It's just to feed stimberries to and get poo out of it obviously for dung beetles and that's what I'm going to be doing my next episode I need to get some dung beetles so we can start getting plants up and everything I farmed a whole load of metal when we were out uh, it's all in here I also do need to quickly finish making my armor Oop, wrong one. where is it? where's armor? there it is what do we want? We want feet, uh, legs, and hands. Pants. We do not need any ramshackle cloth pants. No more. Nor do we need primitive cloth boots. Firearms, we need to make this awesome rifle. I need some more hide. I think I got some in here. No, we do not. Wait, so I've gone. I literally just went out and got some. Does it use it to make. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it uses hide to make the chain armor. I didn't realize that when I was crafting it. Uh, but. I've got no hide left now to make my rifle. It's not too much of a problem. I'm just going to have to go out and get more. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more of the series, don't forget to leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel and wish to see more Ark Survival Bar content, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode.